How do we solve linear inequalities when fractions are involved? Here are two examples to explore and understand the method. You can always follow my playlist for more practice questions. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Let us look into the solution of these two inequalities. We are going to solve these in steps so that you understand the method. For practice, we have hundreds of inequalities in our playlist. Explore and learn more to master strategies. Let's begin with the very first question, which is 5x plus 2 over 3 is less than minus 1. Now 3 in the denominator is positive. We can multiply both sides by 3, right? So basically first step is get rid of fractions, right? So you have to multiply by the lowest common denominator. In this case it is 3. So when I do 3 times 5x plus 2 over 3, then you see 3 gets cancelled from here. And on this side, we have minus 1 times 3. So we get a linear equation, which is rather inequality, which is 5x plus 2 is less than minus 3. Now we can take 2 to the other side and further simplify. So what we get now is 5x is less than minus 3 minus 2. 5x is less than minus 5. Just as you do in equations, you can now divide by 5. Since it is positive, the inequality sign is not changed. So we get minus 5 over 5 or x is less than minus 1. So we got the solution. Now it says that, well, this solution is x is less than minus 1 for all real numbers. So it's an inequality. Now, we need to write down the solution on a number line. So, let me just show you that. Let's say this is the number line. In that case, we want to represent x is less than minus 1. Let's say this is 0 and this is minus 1. So, x less than minus 1 means minus 1 is not included, but everything on the left side of minus 1. So, that becomes the solution on a number line. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Now let's do the next question. It is also like a practice question for you. Let's copy the question and solve. We have 5x over 3 plus 2 is less than 4 plus x. Now once again, 3 is the common denominator. Multiplying by 3, we'll get 5x, 3 cancels here, plus 2 times 3, right? less than 4 times 3 plus x times 3. You see, we multiplied each and every term with 3. And now, we can bring x terms together. So, we have 5x and this is 3x. Let me first write after multiplication, then we'll bring them together. Correct. So, bring all the variables on one side. We prefer to keep them on the left side right and the numbers constants on the right side right let's simplify 5x minus 3x is 2x which is less than 12 minus 6 which is 6 dividing by 2 we get 6 divided by 2 or x is less than 3 so now on a number line we have to represent the solution So, to keep it simple, I'm just marking 0 on a number line and then let's say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. So, that is 3 for us, right? So, we can say less than 3 means again left side. Make sense? Correct? So, that is how we are going to show the solution on a number line. 
is that clear to you open circle means three is not included perfect i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best